Hey guys, it's Maddie from Lusty Plants and today we are doing a healthy vegan Costco haul. So I just went to Costco yesterday and I had not been in a while, definitely over one month. So this is probably a little bit more than we would usually buy. I was completely out of quite a few things, so I had to replenish that stock as well as get a couple other things that we needed that were produce items and a couple of impulse buys that were on sale. So as usual, I am just going to go through all of the frozen items first so I can put them back into my freezer and with that, let's go ahead and get started. If you've seen my Costco hauls before, you probably know that our staples are the frozen fruits because we use them pretty much weekly in our big batch of oatmeal. I like to make a big pot of steel cut oats in the Instant Pot and add in some frozen fruit and then we eat that throughout the week, just reheating it in the mornings. So today I got our usual, the dark sweet cherries and the wild blueberries. So I just got these two because in summer, there's also so much fresh, wonderful, delicious fruit available that we've just been adding a lot of that to our oatmeal as well. Like I will do peaches or plums or nectarines. So I think this is enough to last us for the rest of the summer. One of our other freezer staples is the organic corn. Hugh absolutely loves corn in like pretty much everything. So I get this every time we go, but it actually hasn't been available at our Costco the last few times I've gone. So I was very excited to see this yesterday. I almost got two of them, but I don't think we have space in our freezer right now. We do have a lot of things in there. So I just got one and hopefully they will have it again next time we go. But this is so useful to use in like soups, stir fries. You can even defrost it and put it into salads. It's really, really nice to have on hand. And I feel that this quality is really good. Every bag that I've gotten, we've been really happy with. Up next is our frozen broccoli. This was actually on sale. So I almost got two of these, but again, the freezer space, ah, oh, so frustrating. But of course it doesn't look like this when you buy it. It comes in that big white bag with four of these smaller bags inside. And as soon as I get it home, I just take out each of these smaller bags and I store each of these in the freezer individually just because it's a lot easier to find space with each individual bag than as them all together in one big clumpy bag. So I feel this is a really good deal as well. It's really nice when you don't have time to get to the store and get any fresh broccoli. And like I said, it was on sale. I think it was $3 off when I got it. So that was a pretty good deal. My next freezer item is something that probably not everybody keeps in their freezer, but I always keep my cashews in the freezer or in the fridge depending on where I have more space. But essentially, I just use these for dressings and I had been out for a very long time and I was really missing my cashew cream dressing. So I'm so excited to finally have these again. And I just keep them in either the fridge or the freezer to keep them fresher longer. Nuts, as you may or may not know, can go rancid very quickly. So especially if you live in a warmer area, just be mindful of that. And also these do last us a long time. So I figure might as well keep them somewhere cool to keep them fresh even longer. This multigrain sourdough is a staple for us as well. And I also keep it in the freezer for pretty much the same reason as the cashews. It just keeps it fresher longer. Maybe that's why our freezer is so full all the time. <laughs> I have like so many extra unnecessary things in there. But anyway, yes, bread goes straight to the freezer. I love this brand and it's such a good deal at Costco. You get a three pack for only $7. Whereas other stores, it's like four or $5 for one loaf. So we really love this bread. Also the flavor is really good. I feel the ingredients are pretty healthy and it's definitely turned into a staple for us at Costco. Now this was kind of a newer item, kind of an impulse buy, but I had been looking for something that is similar to an English muffin or a bagel that we can eat for breakfast that is a little bit healthier. So I just saw these Osory sandwich one bun little bread rounds. There's a little sign on the bottom that says vegan. So I knew right away that we could buy them. And it was $5.50 for this two pack, which seems pretty decent. So I'm not sure if any of you have tried this brand before, this Osory brand. Let me know in a comment down below Below if you've heard of them or if you've tried it before. Very curious other people's opinions of this brand. And the last for our freezer items, which is something probably also not everybody puts in the freezer, is this three pack of organic tofu. I'm sure that I've mentioned this in other Costco hauls as well, but I always put my tofu straight into the freezer because when you defrost it, it takes on a really good texture. You can take out more moisture from it and therefore suck up more marinade, more flavor when you cook it. So I really like to do it like that. Plus it lasts longer that way as well. So these have gone straight into the freezer already and I will just take them out and defrost them as needed. Now let's do our lovely refrigerated items next. The wild brine sauerkraut. I love this sauerkraut.
crowd. It is such a good deal at Costco. It is $11 for this huge 1.5 liter. It is raw organic sauerkraut. This company, Wild Brine, is really good. I love to buy their products. So I was so excited to see this at Costco yesterday. And this is quite a bit, 1.5 liters, but it does last a long time. Where's the expiration? Looks like January of 2022. It's very, very nice to have on hand. Now, this is a very exciting find at Costco. It is the Chow Creamy Original Vegan Slices made by the company Field Roast. And it is a three pack inside for only $12. Now, if any of you buy Chow at the regular grocery stores here in Toronto, they're usually about six or $7. I think I've even seen them for eight at some places. And that of course is just for one package. So getting three for $12 is a really, really good deal. The expiration for this one is also January of 2022. So I do feel like that gives me a decent amount of time to go through these three packages. So very exciting new vegan find at Costco. If you're in Toronto, go check your local Costco. Let me know in a comment down below if you have seen these chow slices available. The next fridge item is the organic spring mix and the organic baby spinach. These are my staples. Every single time I go to Costco, I get these. And this time I got two of the organic baby spinach because we have just been needing some greens lately. And as you guys probably know, I always say they freeze really well. And also when you cook them down, they become really small. So you can go through a whole box really, really quickly. These of course I just use for salads and these I'm pretty sure you will see in every single Costco haul of mine. I just love them. This kombucha, also same deal. I just opened the box already so that I could put them easily one by one into my fridge because there was no way this whole box was gonna fit in there. So kombucha for me is also kind of a splurge, but it was on sale yesterday, so that's why I got it. I think it was $4.50 off, which is a pretty good deal. There are six bottles inside and it was $12.50 total. The gingerade flavor is actually really tasty. If you guys haven't tried this before, it's really nice in the evenings if you want kind of like a little mocktail type drink. This is really nice to have. This one's actually sugar-free, which I like. My mom actually got me addicted to these. She has half of one every single day after her evening walk, and I've definitely adopted that habit. So when I go to drink one, I just gently shake it because there is some sediment on the bottom, but you don't wanna shake it too much because it will explode everywhere. So just gently move the sediment around and then open it very, very slowly as if you were opening a regular soda. So I just let out a little bit of air and then wait for all the bubbles to fizz up. And then see, isn't this so cute? And it's delicious. I mean, kombucha is kind of an acquired taste. If you've never had it before, you may be like, what the heck am I drinking <laughs> the first time you have it? A lot of people say it tastes like vinegar. So if you don't like sour or tart things, you may not like this. It's definitely not very sweet, but just give it a few sips and see if you like it. I have grown to love it. I'm just like, Ah, perfection. And so moving on, speaking of tart and pickly things, pickles. Look at this huge jar of pickles. I saw this and this was definitely an impulse buy, but I had been out of pickles. Usually I just buy them at the regular grocery store, but I love pickles and I was like, I'm gonna eat that whole thing by myself. Q doesn't really like pickles as much, but if I put them in his burger or sandwich or whatever, of course he'll eat them. So I was just very excited to see this whole jar. It was $9 for a two liter jar. I'm not even sure if that's that good of a deal. I just really wanted all of these pickles. That's what happens at Costco, impulse buys. You gotta watch out for those. So I had actually never tried this brand before, but there is no sugar in the ingredients, which I do like. And I just opened them last night and they are really good. So very excited about this <laughs> big two liter jar of pickles. And then I just got a couple fresh produce items that I will occasionally get if I'm at Costco and I'm out of that produce, then it's just convenient because I'm already there to buy it there. So this was a decent deal. I've already taken out half to wash them. That's why it's only half full, but it is 510 grams of fresh organic blueberries. And this was $7 for the package. And then sometimes I do also like to get these mini Bella mushrooms, which are five 50 for 680 grams. This is actually a pretty good deal. I've compared it to the other stores and I feel like this is pretty decent. These are the ones that are grown without pesticides. So like I said, if I'm out of mushrooms when I'm at Costco, I'll just pick up one of these as well. And then the last of the produce items, this big bag of sweet potatoes is only 550, which I feel is a pretty good deal. Five pound bag for 550, not bad. 
and these Kumados. I bought these one time before and I really, really liked them. So I bought these again and it is a two pound box for $5.50 as well. And these, if you don't know, keep them outside the fridge. I had always been putting my tomatoes in the fridge until I read this little guide on here that says keep them on the counter. So ever since then, I've kept my tomatoes on the counter and they ripen beautifully. Jam, this is a very large jar of jam. It lasts us quite a while because we actually don't eat jam that often. Once in a while, we will eat PB&Js if we need like a really fast lunch or breakfast. So usually Q eats this more often than I do. It does have sugar in it, which is not ideal, but you know what? I have been looking for a sugar-free jam that is reasonably priced for a very long time, and I haven't been able to find one. If you know of one that's easy to find in Toronto and is not super expensive, let me know in a comment down below. But other than that, you can also make your own. When I have time, I do do that as well. I do have a recipe for homemade chia jam. If you wanna check that out, I will link it down below. But sometimes you just don't have time to make your own jam. So when that happens, I will just buy this one instead. And then our last three items right here, this is our go-to soy milk. We pretty much only use it in coffee and or once in a while if I need it for baking or making pancakes or something like that. We're not that picky on soy milk. We basically just like something that tastes nice in our coffee. This one is very inexpensive and it's organic and it's lightly sweetened, which is nice in coffee and or pancakes. And then these are my favorite crackers. They are a great price at Costco. It is $9 for this box, but inside has two pretty decently sized bags. And if you look elsewhere, they are a lot more expensive. So we pretty much always get them at Costco now. And then last but not least, this chickpea pasta has really grown on me. The ingredients are only chickpea flour and lentil flour, so it is a decent amount of protein as well. And it's just nice to have an alternative to brown rice or whole wheat pasta, which I do still occasionally buy. But I like that this one is available at Costco for a pretty decent price. So if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a like down below. And also, if you wanna see any of the other Costco haul videos I have done on this channel, I'm gonna leave that playlist right here as well as in the description box down below. And with that, let's see plants and I will see you guys next time.